If you have multiple TVs, monitors, or even projectors that you want to send the same signal over to all those at one time, now we're talking about gaming consoles, streaming devices, or even computers, then today I have a solution for you. These are some O-Ray HDMI splitters. And the great thing about these particular splitters is that they do support 4K, 60 Hertz, and anything that's 1080p as well. So in this video, we're gonna get them out of the box and I'm gonna show you guys how they work. So sit back and relax. Let's get started. The first one we're going to take a look at is for two displays. This is the UHDS 102. As you can see here, it comes with your AC power supply and the adapter. It also comes with a user's manual and the switcher box. On the front, we have different indicators. You can see there's a power indicator. There's also one to show you if it's an input connected and two outputs. Now there's a switch right here and I'll tell you guys about that a little bit later. On the side, there's different vents to let heat out just in case it gets a little warm. And on the back, you're gonna find your HDMI output, your HDMI input, and your DC 5 volt input for power. If you have three or four displays, then this is the UHDS 104. It comes with the user's manual, a warranty card, the power supply, and you get the splitter. So here's the front of the 104. You can see it has one input indicator, four output indicators, this one also has a service port for doing firmware updates. And here's the back view of it that shows you the different HDMI outputs and inputs, as well as the DC 5 volt input. So if you have up to eight displays, this is the UHDS 108. Now this one comes with the user's manual, a registration card, a larger power supply with the AC adapter, and you have the splitter. And here's the front of the 108. You can see there's a power indicator, as well as an input indicator. You have your eight output indicators and a service port. Here's a look at the side view. And here's a look at the back view with the one input, the eight outputs, as well as your power 12 volt DC input. Now, if you have up to 16 monitors, this is the big boy right here. This is the UHDS 1016. It comes with your user manual, extended warranty, and also the power supply, which is a lot larger. And we have the splitter itself. So here's the front of the UHDS 1016 and you can see it has a switch for your power supply with an indicator right here. This also shows you the input and these are all the different outputs. So the more monitors that you connect to it through HDMI, these will start lighting up one by one. And taking a look at the side of it, you can see there's some screw holes so you can use this in a rack mount situation. And on the other side, you'll find a service port as well as a programmable EDID switcher. And here's a closer look at the back of it so you can see all 16 of those outputs to go over to all your different displays. When it comes to the EDID switch, this is when you have mismatch frequencies on different devices. For example, if you have a 1080p monitor and a 4K, you're gonna switch this over to standard and that'll actually change everything to 1080p. But if you have all 4K monitors, you switch this over and then everything will be the same. So that's really what that switch is for. A common thing with all four switchers is that they all support HDMI 2.0, HDCP 2.2, 600 megahertz with 18 gigabits per second transfer rate, plus you can use a 1080 signal and go all the way up to 4K 60 hertz. And with the audio pass-through, you can use 7.1 channels, Dolby True HD, DTS HD, just to name a few. Now let's check the input lag using this test right here. And what I'm gonna do is show you guys before and after using the splitter to see if we have any loss in the signal. So this is a Samsung Q60A and I have the TV set on gaming mode. So let's go ahead and test it. So it looks like we're getting about 1.9 milliseconds and that could vary between nine, maybe up to 10 milliseconds total. Now what I'm gonna do is take off the splitter box and see what that reads. For this test, I bypassed the splitter, so this cable is going directly to the TV set. Let's check the input lag. So you can see it's reading about 9.3 to 9.4. So what that tells me is using the splitter box, you're not gonna to see too much loss on your signal. Using this HDMI cable, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get everything up and running. The first thing you wanna do is just plug in the HDMI cable on the back of both your TV sets. Now for this demonstration, we're gonna use the smaller model, the 102, and that can be used on monitors as well as TV sets. So these two outputs go over to the TVs that I just showed you, and this input will go to any source that we want to plug in to display on those two TV sets. First, I'll show you a demonstration hooked up to a MacBook Pro or any kind of laptop. 
You just plug the HDMI in there, it's gonna flicker. And you can see all these lights are now showing up. So as you can see, the splitter does a really good job. Whatever you see on the MacBook Pro is the same thing you see on these different TV screens. So if you pull up the application, you can see there's very minimum lag in between the two screens. And this is great if you're using something like Excel, you can go in here and create all your formulas, very easy. You can even use it to play your favorite PlayStation games and use two different screens. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, so let's get a feel for how the car slows down. Now one thing you want to think about when getting a splitter box is the HDMI cable itself. So let me give you an example. If you want to hook up one of these splitters, you have a maximum range of about 40 feet. So for example, if you have a television that's out on a fire pit or farther away, Array does make a device called an HDMI extender. And instead of using HDMI, it's going to allow you to connect an ethernet cable on two different boxes and send that signal farther away. Now, if you guys like to see a video on that, please leave that in the comments below. With that being said, these are not extenders. So for example, if you have a desktop computer, this will not extend the screen to another screen. What it will do is take that desktop and split it to multiple devices like I showed you guys on the video. So if you like this video, go and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and you have yourself a great day. For more solutions like this, be sure to check out oray.com where you'll find the latest switchers, converters, and accessories.